This video will guide you to install and configure Nginx on Linux to build your own web server. Before starting the following steps, you can use this command to ensure you have the root permission. Step 1. Installing Nginx. First, we need to update the system using the command to make sure your system is up to date. Then, you can now use this command to install Nginx. Step 2. Configuring the firewall. You can check the status of the UFW service with the following command. If the firewall status is inactive, you can open the firewall with the command. We also need to allow the SSH port. We also need to list the application configurations that UFW knows how to work. Configure allowed traffic and here we will only need to allow traffic on port 80. You can verify the change by typing this command. Step 3. Checking Nginx service status. Please execute the following command to confirm that the Nginx web server is running. Step 4. Managing the Nginx process. Here are some basic management commands. You have now learned basic management commands and should be ready to configure the site to host more than one domain. Step 5. Update Nginx's configuration. Create the directory for example.com as follows, using the p flag to create any necessary parent directories. Next, assign ownership of the directory with the user environment variable. The permissions of your web roots should be correct if you haven't modified your umask value, which sets default file permissions, to ensure that your permissions are correct and allow the owner to read, write, and execute the files while granting only read and execute permissions to groups and others, you can input the following command. Next, create a sample index HTML page using Nano or your favorite editor. In it, add the following sample HTML. Save and close the file by pressing Ctrl plus X to exit, then when prompted to save, input Y and then hit the Enter key. In order for Nginx to serve this content, it's necessary to create a server block with the correct directives instead of modifying the default configuration file directly. Let's make a new one. Paste in the following configuration block, which is similar to the default, but updated for our new directory and domain name. Next, let's enable the file by creating a link from it to the site's enabled directory, which in Jinx reads from startup. To avoid a possible hash bucket memory problem that can arise from adding additional server names, it is necessary to adjust a single value in the file. Open the file, find the directive like this, and remove the symbol to uncomment the line. Save and close the file when you are finished. Next, test to make sure that there are no syntax errors in any of your Nginx files. If there aren't any problems, restart Nginx to enable your changes. Step 6. Get a free SSL certificate. The first step in obtaining an SSL certificate with Let's Encrypt is to install the CertBut software on your server. Run CertBut with the following command using the Nginx plugin. If this is your first time running CertBut, you will be prompted to enter an email address and agree to the terms of service. After doing so, CertBut will communicate with the Let's Encrypt server, then run a challenge to verify that you control the domain you're requesting a certificate for. You'll see the code with the managed by CertBot comment which is a new addition, so we don't need to change it. Nginx should now be serving your domain name over HTTPS. You can test this by navigating to your domain. This command will help you automatically renew any certificates that expire within 30 days. That's all about how to install Nginx on Ubuntu servers. You have now learned basic management commands and configurations of Nginx. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.